Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Adventure in a Backpack. We are wasting no time here in Moab getting some adventures in. Our first adventure up is um, going to see Corona Arch. We want to start giving everybody kind of walking tours of these uh, adventures we go on. So this one kind of started just right by the Colorado River. Uh, super pretty place, had to go across some train tracks. Uh, the trail is about a mile and a half uh, in, mile and a half out. Uh, four to six hundred foot of elevation gain depending on which which uh, which piece of paper you look at Every place's trail markers are just a little bit different If you're in a tree in area, there's sometimes a ribbon tied around a tree or maybe they a little a blaze is what it's called Where it's painted on the tree around here. There's carns, which are just little stacks of rocks And that's basically how they marked the trail. There's plenty of flowers and cactus along the trail. Part of the way up this trail, we came across this Carn City, if you will. There's Carns everywhere, most I've ever seen. I'm gonna build a new one. We just rounded the corner where we can see Corona Arch in the distance. Kind of this little steeper section of this trail. It's actually got a, a table kind of help you up. We're gonna see how we do. See if we can get the dogs up it. Oh! <laughs> Almost. You think she'll go with that? Not that way. So one negative thing about Corona Arch and a lot of the places that we go that are um, more touristy is the graffiti and that is something that we'll talk about later but it's just it's very sad to see so much graffiti on such a beautiful natural place. So we are now coming down off of the trail from Corona Arch and it's pretty awesome pretty really cool area uh, I'd say probably a moderate hike when there's a few spots that got me breathing hard, but it wasn't like a, oh my gosh, the kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, what'd you think? Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, it was really cool. Really fun, neat trail. Yeah, it definitely looked a lot bigger than it does in all the postcards and pictures and stuff. Definitely, uh, you have to see it if you're in the area. So yeah. This spot right here looks like the water is actually running out of the sandstone, making some stripes. So that's about all we got for this adventure. And now we're off to find our next adventure. Be sure to follow us on facebook.com slash adventure in a backpack as well as our website, adventureinabackpack.com. Until next time, live, live vicariously. vicariously.